Hello and welcome to this tutorial video on setting up your Kobo e-reader with services offered through the Pickering Public Library. My name is Jordan and I'm a member of the technology team at the library and in this video I will walk you through the steps to check out books with your library card and install them on your Kobo e-reader. Before we begin, the steps will be slightly different depending on what kind of Kobo you have. The previous generation of Kobos have several extra steps that must be done to get the book on your device, while the latest generation of Kobos have overdrive built in, which saves a lot of time. To check which Kobo you have, power on your device and look at the menu. If you don't see overdrive as an option in settings, you have an older Kobo and can jump ahead to this point in the video. For newer Kobos that have overdrive built in, we only need the Kobo. A laptop or computer can make things easier but you can make do with just the e-reader. First, power on the Kobo. From the home screen, make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi by pressing the Wi-Fi button at the top of the screen. Once connected, press More in the bottom right corner and choose Settings. Then we can choose Overdrive. Press Get Started, and when the Overdrive screen loads up, press Sign into Overdrive. You will then be asked to type in your library. If the name doesn't automatically come up, you can manually type in the name and search for it. You will then be asked to select your library again, this time from a list of libraries. Keep pressing the down button until you see your library and press it. Enter in your card number and PIN and your account is now connected. If you press the Discover button at the bottom of your Kobo, there will now be a tab for the library's overdrive. If you press the overdrive button, you can now browse the collection on your Kobo for new books to borrow. When you select a book on the e-reader, you will be shown the price to buy it. In order to borrow it from Overdrive, you need to press the button with the three dots and you will be given an option to either borrow the book or place a hold on it through Overdrive. Browsing Overdrive on the Kobo can be slow, but luckily you can also use Overdrive on the library's website. Simply check out the book through the library's website and all you have to do on your Kobo is press the sync button at the top of the screen beside the Wi-Fi button. After you're done syncing, it will automatically download any new books you've checked out. The other e-reader compatible service, Cloud Library, still requires the same steps as the old Kobos. Feel free to keep watching the video if you would like to access books from their collection as well. For older Kobos and Cloud Library use, we will of course need our e-reader along with a computer or laptop that is connected to the internet a cable to connect the e-reader to the computer, and a library card. The Kobo should come with a cable, but most micro USB to USB cables should work. The four steps to get the book onto our Kobo will be Step 1. Download Adobe Digital Editions Step 2. Authorize your computer and Kobo Step 3. Check out and download books on the computer and Step 4. Transfer the books to the e-reader. While it may seem like a lot, Steps 1 and 2 you only have to do once. Whenever you want to download more books, you only need to do steps 3 and 4. Let's start with step 1 and download Adobe Digital Editions. Adobe Digital Editions is the program used by Overdrive and Cloud Library to transfer books from your computer to your Kobo. Go to the link shown on screen and you will be brought to the Adobe page for Digital Editions. This is the Canadian Adobe page a pop-up should redirect you automatically if you accidentally go to another country's page. Look for Download in the navigation bar and click on it. When you go to the Downloads page, you will be given two options, one for Mac and one for Windows. Pick the appropriate one for your computer and it should start downloading. Once downloaded, we can run the installer to install ADE. After installing, there should be a shortcut on your desktop for it. Double click it to open it. Once open, click help from the top toolbar and select authorize computer. In the window that opens up, sign into your Adobe account. If you don't have one, click the create account button 
and you can create one for free using your email address. After authorizing the computer with your account, you can connect your Kobo. Your Kobo will show a pop-up asking if you want to connect to the computer. Press Connect. If you don't see this message, try removing the cable and connecting it again. If you still don't see the message, the cable you're using might be a charging only cable and you will need to use a different one. The Kobo will now have a black screen saying it's connected to the computer. On the computer, ADE should recognize the Kobo and you should see it in the sidebar. Click on the gear icon beside devices and choose Authorize Device. In the pop-up window that opens, click OK, and your device should now be authorized. Now we can check out some books. At the Pickering Public Library, you can sign into our website and browse our collections for OverDrive and Cloud Library eBooks to borrow. Click the Login button on the top right corner of the website and click the Login slash Register button. From there, you can enter in your library card number and PIN. When browsing the collection, make sure that the item is an ebook and is available. You can then click the checkout button, read the pop up, and click OK. If it's not, you can place a hold on it and wait for the current borrower to return it. After you have found and borrowed a book, you need to download it. For OverDrive books, Go to your account on the top right corner and choose Checked Out. From there, you can click the Download button, select Adobe EPUB from the options, and click Download. After that is done, click on the Download Adobe EPUB to download the file. For Cloud Library books, we need to go to Cloud Library's website. Go to the library's homepage and look for the Cloud Library icon or go to www.yourcloudlibrary.com. Once there, you will see three drop down menus. First, choose the country, then the province, and then your local library. You will then be brought to the library selection of books. Click the green login button and enter your library card number and PIN. Click login and if it's the first time you're signing in, you have to accept the terms of use. After signing in, click my books on the left hand side of the screen. Beneath each book you've borrowed, there should be an expiry message with an option to download for offline reading underneath it. Click on it and the file should begin downloading. Most modern browsers will either ask you if you want to open the file automatically or give you an easy spot to click the downloaded file to open it up. If this doesn't appear, you will need to find where the file downloaded on your computer and double click it. If it doesn't open in ADE automatically, a pop-up window should open up and allow you to select ADE as the default program to open these types of files. When the file opens, the book will open automatically. We can click the library button in the top left corner to return to the main ADE screen so we can transfer it to our Kobo device. Right click the book you want to transfer to your Kobo and choose copy to computer slash device and then select your Kobo device. You will then be shown a progress bar and the book will be copied to your Kobo. Repeat this process for as many books as you have downloaded and then safely eject your Kobo. Your Kobo screen should refresh and show that it's installing the books you downloaded. When you get back to the home screen, go to My Books and try opening your books to make sure you don't get any errors. If you don't, you're done. You can sit back and enjoy your new book. But what if you do get an error message? If you get an authentication error on your e-reader, first remove the book from your device. Then go to More, choose Settings, then Accounts. Scroll down and deauthorize your Kobo.
Connect your Kobo to the computer again and try reauthorizing your device through ADE. After your device is reauthorized, try transferring the book again. If you get the same error, you need to delete the book, deauthorize your Kobo, but also deauthorize your computer. After you've done all this, reauthorize both your computer and ADE, re-download the book, and try following the steps again. We hope this video has helped you get started with using your Kobo e-reader with our library's ebook services. Please contact us at help at pickeringlibrary.ca if you need further assistance. Thank you and have a great day.